how to use and calibrate a food thermometer. One of the easiest and most effective ways to prevent foodborne illness is to use a food thermometer. Taking food temperatures is the only reliable way to check if food is cooked safely. The most common type of service thermometer is the bimetallic stemmed thermometer. It has an indicator head, which features an easy to read temperature marking, an adjustable calibration nut, a stem, and a dimple. The thermometer must be cleaned and sanitized before each use, between each use, and after each use. If it is not cleaned and sanitized, bacteria may be transferred from one food to another. To clean and sanitize your thermometer, use alcohol wipes or the dishwashing method, which involves washing, rinsing, and sanitizing. Let's now look at a few examples of how to take proper food temperatures. Whenever you take a food temperature reading, be sure to completely insert the sensing area, which extends from the tip to half an inch past the dimple. For a whole turkey, place your thermometer approximately five to six centimeters, or two to two and a half inches deep in the thickest part of the turkey, away from fat, bone, or gristle. Wait at least 15 to 20 seconds, or until the needle stops. Check the temperature in a few places to make sure all parts are cooked to an internal temperature of 82 degrees Celsius or 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Be sure the food holds the required temperature for at least 15 seconds. For soups, here's a simple tip. Slip the stem into the clip loop or hole to use the case as a handle. Stir the soup often to ensure that it's evenly heated. Using the handle, place your thermometer approximately 5 centimeters or 2 inches deep into the mixture. The reading should take between 15 and 20 seconds. Cook to a temperature of 74 degrees Celsius or 165 degrees Fahrenheit. For hamburger patties, take the patty from the grill and insert the food thermometer through the side all the way to the middle of the patty. Your patty, fresh or frozen, is done when its internal temperature reaches 71 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Proper food temperature is key to food safety, but to ensure your thermometer's accuracy, you must regularly calibrate your thermometer using a known standard, such as the ice point method or the boiling point method. Thermocouples, digital pocket thermometers, and infrared thermometers should be calibrated according to the manufacturer's instructions. For demonstration purposes, we'll use the most common type of service thermometer, the bimetallic stemmed thermometer. The first and most conventional method is the ice point method. Fill a container with crushed ice and add clean tap water. You should have a 50-50 ice water mixture. Now make sure the sensing area of the thermometer is submerged in the water. Insert the thermometer at least five centimeters or two inches below the surface. Being careful not to touch the sides or the bottom of the container as this will affect your reading. Wait 30 seconds or until the needle is steady before adjusting. If you don't get a reading of zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, you need to calibrate your thermometer. Without removing the stem from the ice, use a small wrench or your thermometer's built-in adjuster and grab hold of the nut found right below the indicator head. Now, simply turn the face of the thermometer until the red needle reads zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. For the boiling point method, be sure to protect your hands from the heat. Submerge the thermometer at least five centimeters or two inches, making sure not to touch the sides or the bottom of the container. Wait 30 seconds or until the needle is steady before adjusting. If you don't get a reading of 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit, you need to calibrate your thermometer. Remember that thermometers need to be calibrated on a regular basis. However, if your thermometer is subjected to extreme temperature changes or is dropped, it will need to be calibrated before the next use. Finally, it is good practice to create a calibration log sheet. 
make it easily accessible to all staff so that they can refer to it and update it as needed. As you can see, a food thermometer is an essential tool that helps to prevent foodborne illness. However, to be reliable, it must be used correctly. Be sure to calibrate your food thermometer regularly. Follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Understand the usage of your thermometer. Not every thermometer operates in the same way. Clean and sanitize your food thermometer before, between, and after each use. And follow recommended internal cooking temperatures. For more helpful tips and advice, contact your local public health agency.